Now we have in part on set of numbers, the various types of numbers. Let's quickly go through this. We know that the set of natural numbers we have 1, 2, 3 and set of whole numbers 0, 1, 2, 3. So just to revise what we did, you see that uh, n is a subset of w. z is minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So you find that w is a subset of z. In positive integers, 1, 2, 3, 4, z plus prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. So prime numbers are all those numbers which have no factors other than other than 1 and itself. Right. So 2 if you see is divisible only by 1 and 2. There is no other number which is divisible. Much the same for 3, 5, 7, 11. And if you observe that all the prime numbers except 2 are odd prime numbers. And the numbers, natural numbers which are not odd numbers which are not prime numbers, integers which are not prime numbers are called composite numbers. Then you have odd numbers, specifically odd natural numbers I mean is 1, 3, 5, 7. Real numbers R is 2, 4, minus 3 and all those. All the real numbers which could also include root 3, cube root of 7, fifth root of 21 by 4. All these are real numbers. That is, real numbers is the, like the universal set for all, all these numbers. And rational numbers are all those numbers which could be fractions, negative integers, even minus 3 by 5, minus 7, 0, minus 22 by 7, 22 by 7. All positive negative fractions all positive negative integers along with 0 will form rational numbers. So rational numbers is a subset of, proper subset of the set of real numbers. So set of real numbers here is the biggest universal set for all these other sets. So this is something we need to remember forever. So, we did the set of various types of numbers. Now let's explore these possibilities. 1 minus minus 1 raised to x for all integral x is a set what? Integral x starting with various numbers, say for example x is 0, so it's like telling 1 minus 0 which is going to be 1, right? Or suppose x is 1, suppose x is 1. In that case, it's 1, 3, 5, all these odd numbers. Whenever you take odd numbers, minus 1 raised to an odd number is going to be negative. So, in that case, it's going to be 1 minus minus 1 itself, that is 2. So, it could attain value 1, 2, not more than that. Suppose x is an even number, say 2 or something. In that case, minus 1 square is going to be positive. So, it's effectively 1 minus 1 which is 0. So the minimum value that could be attained is 0 and the maximum value is 2. So for all integral is the set 0 to 2. So it could be either 0, 2 or any such thing. So in such a case it could be either 0 or 2, not 1 I'm sorry. So in that case you get integral numbers means that. So also it could be 0 or 2. Two. Even if it is 0, over here it will become minus 1 raised to 0, which is going to be 1, 1 minus 1, 0. So it will be either 0 or 2. So this is our right answer. E is the set of positive even numbers and O is the set of positive odd numbers. What will be E union O? That means E union O would be what among these? So it's going to be the set of all the positive even numbers, positive odd numbers, it's going to be the set of natural numbers. All the positive and negative, uh, positive odd numbers and positive even numbers will be the set of. So, it's, uh, even numbers are going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, etc. And odd will be 1, 3, 5, 7. And if you combine the two, you get E union O is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 set of natural numbers. It will be interesting to note that E intersection O would be a null set because there is no number, positive number, which is even as well as odd. Okay. 
R is a set of positive rational numbers and E is a set of real numbers, then every rational number is a real number, but there are many real numbers which are not rational. So obviously R is a subset of E. E is a bigger set. So R is a proper subset of E. Okay, N is a set of natural numbers and I is a set of positive integers. So positive integers N would be obviously say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. I is considering only positive integers. So the negative integers in 0 are out. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The same, so both are equal, so n is equal to i. Hence, we have 0, 2, n, so option number b, 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 and a. So let's check, of course. Alright, so let's tally with what we have. Okay. 